All right, all right. Last night I talked about where the next bull market could be, and I talked about Bitcoin bouncing off of the support zone right here at 65,000. And I will say it's possible we come all the way down to 63,000, even though we don't have to. I would still be looking for higher prices above that moving average at the 200. And while we are above the 200, it's more important to note that we also did regain the bull trend. So Bitcoin is now looking like we're going right back into another bull cycle because the previous attempts to break over the 200 daily moving average were met with rejections and we never got the bull trend of all the moving averages crossing back over the 200 daily moving average which is the condition we currently have so do not sleep on this bitcoin moves very quickly and it's already starting to get bought up above that rising 20 daily moving average and the retest of 65,000. and while we're above 65 to 63,000, very good price targets to look for in the short term will be 71 to 75,000. Do not sleep on this. It could happen very quickly and you now have the low risk entries and pay attention to the volume down here. We are seeing nice volume on these breakouts. So things will start to move very quickly from here and you have very clear risk levels to know if we break down below the 200 daily moving average, you can very easily manage risk and there's plenty of upside reward to make it worth the risk. On the S&P 500 SPY ETF, we were down 0.91% today and we did break down below 580. So you could just stay risk off in this condition, but you also have to note we are at support at the rising 20 daily moving average so it's up to you whether or not you think it's worth taking on the risk and we also do have support here right around 573 at the retest of the breakout so there will be plenty of support to still look for buying opportunities within this bull trend but if you are extremely risk off it would be a lot simpler to just stay risk off right here down below 580 and just wait for spy to get back above it before you start getting more risk on and if we do get back above 580 then we will still be looking for that brand new all-time high at 587 and then then above that 593 but if you're extremely risk averse just stay risk off below 580 and don't bother trying to catch any falling knives wait until we get back above 580 and if you want to take on risk you're doing so right around 573 to 576 right around this next support zone on the nasdaq 100 triple q's we were down 1.53 percent today and just like spy we also did get a breakdown below a very important support which is down below 490 and below 490 you could just stay risk off because it is possible the bears are in control here with this lower high rejection into the lower low and this could mean we are going back down towards 483 and then below 483 we would be looking for 473 now if you are extremely bullish and don't mind taking on risk here you would be looking to buy the dips while we're above 583 for that push to the previous all-time high which would still take us higher towards 503 and then above 503 we have a brand new all-time high at 510 this bullish scenario is still completely possible, but if you do not want to take on risk, wait until we can get back above 590 and the bulls start to show strength, and then you can still catch that move towards 503. So jumping back over the S&P 500, we are at a very interesting turning point here. We are either about to break down or we are getting a buying opportunity within a pullback as we head into the election. And as I talked about earlier in the video, Bitcoin is looking very risk on as long as we can hold the retest of the breakout and start to bounce from here. And remember, Bitcoin moves very quickly there's plenty of ETFs that you can trade Bitcoin on the stock exchange now you don't even need to go to a crypto exchange so if you are looking for some risk on appetite it is more than likely going to be over there in Bitcoin and just a quick reminder I'm posting all of the swing trade ideas for quarter four in the stock channel discord server right now so now is a great time to be a member and start accumulating the swing positions that I'm looking to run from here into the end of the year and I do believe we are going to have a very strong finish to the year so if you want to come crush this market and get access to all of my intraday updates and my technical analysis as well as my trade ideas that is in my discord server which you can find out how to join by clicking on the link in the description of this video so thank you for watching everybody i hope you're crushing this market and as always i will see you in the next episode